Bitch, I want my money, better get it in advance This was for the honeys, girl, now let me see you dance Whoa, 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 how you fit it in your pants? Hit it with no rubber, but I keep the rubber bands Bitch, I, bitch, I want my money back Pistol Pete Maravich is one of the greatest players, I think, ever the guy was Steph Curry and Steve Nash before Steph Curry and Steve Nash even existed. So that begs the question. The dude was born into the wrong era. I mean, he was pulling up 30-foot jumpers that only counted for two points because there was no three-point line back then. The guy was a monster. So again, that begs the question. What if he was placed in the modern era where the game revolves around small ball just like he played? Now, I had to put Pete in a team that he would thrive in. I couldn't just throw him into any random team. I had to put him in a team that would make sense for him. So I decided, why not put him in the team that revolutionized the game of small ball? And that started this whole thing. That's right, the Golden State Warriors. Look at his starting lineup right here. We have 96 overall Steph Curry, 96 overall Kevin Durant, 95 overall Pete Maravich. Yes, I'm using the jazz version of him in his prime. Draymond Green, and we all love Zaza Pachulia, right? So, how would this team do with Pistol Pete? Will Pistol Pete be an upgrade to Klay Thompson? And no, I took Klay Thompson out of the lineup. In this, in this uh, alternate reality, Klay Thompson doesn't exist, and Pistol Pete Maravich is born in his place. So, yeah, how will this team do? Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Pistol Pete Maravich. Will they win the NBA title? Will Maravich win the MVP, for God's sakes? Let's find out. All right, so as always, I'm a sim to the All-Star break, halfway point of the season. Hopefully, we don't lose a game. We probably will, but, I mean, it'd be great if we don't. I mean, we have a stacked lineup at this point. So, let's get it. Alright, so halfway point of the season, we're 45 and 13. First in the conference, first in the division. Oh yeah, we're four games ahead of the Rockets. They are not gonna catch up to us unless we like fall on our ass and the Rockets go on like a fat win streak. But let's take a look at the team leaders. So Steph Curry and Pistol Pete Maravich just going off. And so is Kevin Durant. But Pistol Pete averaging 26 a game and Steph Curry averaging 28 a game. Jesus Christ, this duo is pretty scary. This might be better than the original Splash Brothers. Pete Maravich and Steph Curry? Good Lord. Steph Curry getting rebounds out here. And assists, that's uh, more or less the same. But Jesus Christ, this combo is just scary. And throw Kevin Durant in the mix? That's just frightening. Alright, so let's continue on with the season. Also, it's worth mentioning that Pistol Pete actually made the All-Star game for us. Along with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. And Draymond Green as well. Only one missing is Zaza Pachulia, but most of the Warriors starting five made the All-Star game. That's impressive. Alright, so now to the second half of the season. Alright, so at the end of the season, we finished 63-19. and 19. I think that's the best record in the NBA. Steph Curry finishes MVP. Ben Simmons, Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin, DeAndre Jordan, Chris Dunn. And Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Let's see. 
Uh, Pistol Pete Maravich. Oh, Pistol Pete Maravich made the All NBA second team. So, so far so good for Pistol Pete. Now the question is, can he win a ring with Golden State this season? I'll be the the icing on the cake. Let's see if there's anybody else around here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nope, nope. All right, so let's go to the playoffs. All right, so in the playoffs, we're going against the Pelicans, the Spurs against the Nuggets, the Thunder against the Timberwolves, and the Rockets against the Clippers. And the east side of things, my Miami Heat going against the Raptors. I hope they win that series. Um, the, the Hornets, I don't know how they made the playoffs. And the 76ers, the Cavs and the Wizards, and the Boston Celtics and the Detroit Pistons. So we're going to simulate the current round and uh, see what happens. And of course, we swept the New Orleans Pelicans. And the Spurs beat the Nuggets in seven games. Oklahoma City eliminated the Timberwolves. And of course, the Rockets beat the Clippers. The Clippers shouldn't even be in the playoffs at this point. And my Miami Heat got eliminated. Uh, Hornets got swept. Seven games. Cavaliers advanced. Kyrie versus LeBron. I'm definitely looking forward to that series. Let's take a look at what happened here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, good lord. Pistol Pete Maravich, 33 points, and Steph Curry, 32 points. They just went ham. Oh, good god. Alright, so now from this point on, I'm going to simulate game by game um, to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, Spurs versus Warriors. Let's see. They take game one. Take game two. Take game three. This is going to be a sweep. And the Warriors, just like that, are on to the Western Conference Finals. Two sweeps, undefeated in the playoffs. Let's take a look here at the stats. There's still Pete Maravich. Uh, Kevin Durant got more points than him. But 10 assists and two steals and five rebounds. Okay, Pistol Pete, you're holding your own against uh, or with, these gold, with this Golden State team. You're holding your own. I like it. Definitely, I think he'd be better than uh, Clay Thompson, but I don't know. So let's go on to the Western Conference Finals. I don't know if you guys can see down there at the bottom, but Steph Curry and Pistol Pete lead all the playoffs in points. That is just insane. And that's East and West. They both lead. They're in the number one and the two spot. Crazy. All right, so in the Eastern Conference is the Sixers versus the Cavs, and the West, it's the Warriors and the Rockets. So let's see what happens. I'm going to sim game by game. Warriors take game one. Warriors take game two. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Warriors are no longer undefeated. Uh-oh. This is bad. Okay, Warriors take game three. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Looks like Chris Paul and James Harden were too much. Oh no. That's heartbreaking. Eric Gordon went off. Oh no, that's horrible. And the Rockets win the NBA championship. Why does 2K love the Rockets so much, man? Yeah, the Rockets win. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to do a second season of this. We're going to go on to season two. All right, so season two of Pistol Pete on the Golden State Warriors. Our roster pretty much stays the same. I didn't want to sign anybody in free agency. I didn't want to cause a big stir in the uh, NBA landscape. Some notable changes. I'm going to go around here, see some notable changes. Uh, nothing here. Uh, Washington didn't sign anybody oh never mind they signed Dirk a 40 year old Dirk Nowitzki decides you know what the hell with Dallas I'm going to Washington getting myself another ring Cleveland this is interesting still have Jordan they signed Brooke Lopez and JJ Redick Tristan is still there for some reason and Joe Johnson a veteran Joe Johnson okay the Boston Celtics. Uh, Julius Randle. 
and Michael Beasley. Okay, not bad. The Heat. Somehow Chris Bosh came back. Okay, I guess Wade retired on him. I swear to God, if Wade left Miami again, I'm gonna throw this controller out the window. You got Rodney Hood. Okay, that's not bad. That's a really good pickup for Miami. It's a nice little pickup. Utah. They got Isaiah Thomas from the Lakers. And Carmelo Anthony. Utah might, might be a favorite in the West this year. And Greg Monroe. I think they already had him. Uh, they got Alfred Payton. Utah made a big splash. And Jay Crowder. They got Seth Curry. They made a big splash. They got Isaiah Thomas and Carmelo. I see the Lakers. Dwayne Dedman. Amir Johnson. Tony Parker to the Lakers. Sir, what? Okay. Tony Parker. Norman Powell. Okay. And Luol Deng. But I think Luol Deng's already... Yeah, Luol Deng's already on the team. Orlando. Uh, Biz, okay, they already had Biz Magnum. Well, they got Rajon Rondo. 32-year-old. And Luke Babbitt. God damn it, they took him from the heat. And Channing Fry. Yeah, because Channing Fry is not on the Magic right now. As far as I'm concerned. They got Marvin Bagley the third. Young superstar right there. J.J. Barea. Derek Jones Jr. Dougie McBuckets right there. Not really a big splash. Paul George goes to the Nuggets. I'm dead. Paul George to the Nuggets. Oh, good lord. Westbrook must be heated. Victor Oladipo. Oh, they get Nurkic. Okay. And Michael Porter Jr. There's Lance. Oh, they took Wayne Ellington from the heat. God damn it. Really? Oh, man. And Tabo Cephalosha down there. Miritic. Gerald Green. Oh, Rodney Magruder, another former Heat. Jesus Christ, they just they just dismantled that whole Heat team. Uh, yeah, nothing much here either. Is that Monte Ellis? The hell did they sign him for? Let's see what San Antonio's got. Kawhi. Oh my God. Demarcus Cousins. And LaMarcus Aldridge. I'm done. Somehow the Spurs find a way to... Oh, I don't know. This is crazy. Jesus Christ. Oklahoma... Oh, okay. I'm going to throw my controller out the window. Right now. Wade stayed one year in Miami and then he left. If this happens in real life, I will literally kill myself. Like, it's not even funny. They also signed a 30-year-old Derrick Rose. Oh, Lord. Dwayne Wade on the Thunder. D. Wade betrayed the city of Miami yet again. And goes to Oklahoma City. Alright, so now we're on to Season 2 of Pistol Pete in the Modern NBA. Can he finally win a ring with this Golden State squad? I'm going to sim to the halfway point of the season. And we'll find out where we're at. And uh, just one last thing, D-Wade. Why'd you leave Miami again? <laughs>
okay. Minnesota, the Rockets are out of the picture. Um, at least from our picture. Uh, the Thunder, the Clippers, the Pelicans, the Spurs. Alright. So we got some new fresh faces out here. Who are going to be going against us in the playoffs. But uh, we're still riding high. I'm going to take a look at the Eastern Conference side of things. Alright. So Toronto's in first. Milwaukee, Cleveland, uh, Indiana, Philadelphia, Chicago, New York, Boston, Washington, Brooklyn. Oh, Lord. That, that, no, that just makes me sad. That just makes me... That, that just hurts me inside. You know that? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Toronto riding high. And, of course, we're riding higher with... 45 and 13 the wolves out here might be a threat to us He might be a real threat Yeah, Dallas you're you're nowhere near Yeah, no Sacramento. Yeah, all right So let's take a look at who's in the all-star game this year. All right before we get into that I want to take a look at the player standings or er, Curry and Maravich averaging the same amount of points uh, Curry averaging more offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds and uh, more just rebounds per game. But Pistol Pete averaging more assists. But Curry's averaging more steals. So it, Steph Curry might win back-to-back -back MVP this year. But who knows? Maybe they might give it to Pistol Pete. Now let's take a look at playoffs. Oh, and Kevin Durant. And JaVel McGee, 10? Okay, JaVel. We see you, JaVel. Okay. Where's uh Zaza? Man. Zaza's not doing shit. But okay, JaVel. JaVel McGee. I see you. Alright, so Pistol Pete, the second vote getter in the West. Uh, behind Russell Westbrook. Kevin Durant is in here too. Stephen Curry, Draymond Green. Yeah, let's see the East. Okay, yeah, alright. Zach Levine. So, yeah, that's, that's what I expected out here in the East. But the West, Paul George, right here, the West. But uh, yeah, oh Jokic, Jokic, Jokic. I forgot how you say his name. But he's in here too. So uh, yeah, Pistol Pete, again another All Star. All right, so I'm gonna sim to the end of the season and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully Pistol Pete wins the MVP and hopefully we can win the damn NBA Finals. <laughs> Steph Curry once again the MVP uh, I thought they would give it to Pistol Pete but all right that's fine Steph Curry Marvin Bagley the third gets rookie of the year Greg Monroe six man of the year Andre Drummond TJ McConnell and Steve Kerr wins coach of the year 64 wins we went 64 and 18 with the Golden State Warriors squad but the question is can we win a damn ring all right so here we go we're facing off against the OKC Thunder uh, LA Clippers, how? All right, against the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Nuggets, and the Rockets, and the Spurs, and the Pelicans, and over here Raptors and uh, Raptors and Celtics, 76ers and Bucks, Cleveland and Chicago, and Indiana and the Knicks. So let's see. I swear to God, if we get eliminated in the first round, okay, yeah, it's a sweep. All right, so next. I'm going to go ahead and sim game by game because this is where things tend to get crazy. So let's see. Uh, Boston advances. Oh, wow. Philadelphia killed the Bucks. All right, that's seven games. Okay. And the Knicks somehow advance. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sim game by game. All right, they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. They take game four. You take game five. Got it. All right. So we're in the Western Conference Finals against the second seeded San Antonio Spurs. Who does San Antonio have? I need to take a look at this. They leave you. Oh, never mind. Um, Cleveland advanced. Um, 
yeah, that's not even a question. And this is still going. Simulate current round. Alright, so it's Kyrie Irving and LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals versus, I don't uh, Kawhi Leonard, I guess. And uh, Pistol Pete and Steph Curry in the West. So let's see who's going to come out on top. Alright. They take game one. We take game two. They take game three. Uh-oh, they take game four. Good God Almighty. And the Spurs eliminate us. Why can I never win an NBA Finals in these simulations? And the Cavs, of course, beat the Celtics. And what's going to happen? The Spurs sweep the Cavs and become NBA champions. Let me take a look at who the Spurs had. Who? DeJounte Murray? Oh, that's right. They also had DeMarcus Cousins and LaMarcus Aldridge. That explains a lot. Well, guys, that's what would happen if Pistol Pete was in the modern NBA. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.